Daily Tarot, August the 10th. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at your reading. Hi friends, my name is Griselle and I'm here to do your Thursday, August the 10th reading. This is your daily vibe check for August. What do we need to know for August the 10th, Thursday? Anything that's going to be helpful, hopeful, and useful? And show me now. Triggers, okay. This is a day to be aware of your triggers. There might be even three of them. I feel like with the roots being shown right here, they could be really deep rooted. Could be something that you don't expect whatsoever. Or because of the storm clouds, it could be something that's been brewing for a while. Example could be that you could have coworkers that know exactly how to poke and probe in order to get a reaction out of you, trying to make you look bad in front of someone else. Or just to get under your skin for the pure pleasure of seeing you get uncomfortable or angry. These um, trees, their roots look like nerves to me. So be careful what can get on your nerves today. It can cause a problem. Now these triggers are designed to be a mirror to you. Why is that? Because... They're designed to show us exactly what it is that we need to work on or make peace with or examine so that we can make peace with it. And therefore, I feel like there would not be a trigger after that. Some triggers can take years and years and lifetimes to work on. What else do we need to know for the collective? Oh, Hello. Well, we got two instead of just one. Boundaries and empowerment. Okay. So let's see if that does not come on camera very well. Boundaries is definitely something that is going to help resolve your triggers. If you put boundaries in place, then people know exactly where you stand on things and they can't necessarily poke at these nerves. If they do, I feel like that would be to their their determent, deterrent. <laughs> I'm like, gee, stop using words that you can't use. Detriment is the word I was thinking of. But I think that um, having clear boundaries and establishing those and saying, hey, I'm not okay with this is going to be something, you know, and implement a consequence. You know, if that's not respected, if you are not, quote, heard then that's not on you. That's going to be someone else's issue. But I feel like that's really what is going to allow for fulfillment, for a sense of empowerment. I feel like that will transmute the energy of those triggers in general. I always expect these little readings to be like small and shallow and quick. And here we are. These boundaries can also be like how people want to be in your space, how they look at you. Maybe they want to like crash your party. <laughs> I mean, for example, like I'm really private. I need a lot of alone time and I do have people that habitually want to kind of infringe on that. So that could be something that would, you know, I don't know, talk to you. But something about setting boundaries in a clear manner, in a cool, calm collective manner um, and you could be thinking about those now so that as the day progresses if and when they crop up you are equipped or better equipped to handle them two of pentacles yeah juggling you are juggling and maybe you're juggling like how you see yourself in the mirror versus how other people see you and that could be a major theme for you at this point in time yeah so there is a need to go within, go within yourself and explore this a little bit more. It doesn't have to take hours or lifetimes. It can take five minutes of you sitting down saying, okay, what are my real triggers? What is likely to transpire at work? Or how can I counteract these triggers perhaps in order to become a mirror for somebody else? 
because in the end, that's all we are is mirrors to each other. But there's a need to go and explore deeply in order for you to really feel a sense of empowerment, a sense of justice, a sense of I've conquered my shadow side, and that cannot be weaponized against me, especially today. So I hope that that's been helpful. If not helpful, then amusing or enlightening. Much love to you. Until next time, namaste.